everyone. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and do a review for you for the Tureen PM because when I was looking for this bag, I had a hard time finding a lot of information on it. There were some reviews on um, YouTube, but I wanted more, of course, when I'm trying to decide on making a big purchase. It's a lot, so the more information, the better that's out there, right? So hopefully this will help one of you guys. Um, so this is the Tureen PM. I went and got it today after a lot of thought. Um, I went and got it from the Silicon Valley um, Valley Fair Mall down in San Jose, I'm in California. Um, that's kind of my mall of choice. I could go into the city, into San Francisco, but you have to pay for parking. You have to. It's just it's a pain. It's it's just a lot more work. I could just zip down the freeway and go to um, Valley Fair. So. This is the Tureen PM. It is a crossbody, and that is the main reason that I wanted it. I am a mom, and I often need to be hands-free, and I found that having a crossbody really makes things simple. So here it is. This is the PM size, and I have it on the lowest notch here. And you can see it fits in my lower back. What I like is how sleek it is um, because it's tapered on the sides. It doesn't stick really far off my body. So this is on the lowest one. And I can go ahead. the highest one just to kind of give you an idea I'm about five four so this is the bag I'm gonna go ahead and compare it for size wise I feel like um, the speedies are really popular bag people are really familiar with that and so going um, putting it up against the speedy gives people a good idea of the size of this bag so this is the Speedy 30. This is the bandolier. It's also a crossbody. And you can see the Speedy 30 is much thicker. Um, it's taller. This is clearly a bigger bag. The um, Tureen is much more compact. But you'll be able to see that I can fit. So with the inside my Speedy 30, I have all the same stuff plus tons of room. It's almost like you can just lose all your stuff in there. So, I have a wipe pack. Like I said, I have a baby. He's nine months old. So I always keep wipes handy. I have my cosmetic tote um, or cosmetic pouch. That I can sit right down in there. Sunglass case. My small wallet. I like this because it's compact. Um, a diaper. Gotta love having a diaper in your bag. It's fun when I when I get to go somewhere baby free. I'm like, oh, there's no diapers or wipes in my purse. I feel so free. Okay. And keys. So the nice thing about the Tureen PM is, is if you notice, I just put all of my goodies in there in the bottom is not sagging. The bottom has a boning within it, which um, somebody mentioned on their review, and that um, really appealed to me because as you'll see, the Speedy just is very slouchy and it does sag. So, take all this stuff back out. in the bottom. So, the Tureen PM does have a double stitching across the bottom. It does have um, structure to it. There's something in here. There's something in here. It does feel like a corset boning. 
and I like that it has that structure, it feels reinforced, um, and it gives that extra support for whatever you're carrying around. So we do have these beautiful little handles. I asked about getting my Speedy um, hot stamped while I was there to do this piece, and they said that they don't do that anymore. It's just not an option for bags, they only hot stamp wallets, so I thought that was interesting. Um, so inside you have this large pocket, and then you have this smaller pocket, and then another small like cell phone pocket. And then within this, there's the little tag where you can, I don't know, there's this number for it being real. Um, so what I love about the crossbody bag is that yes, it's a crossbody. Yes, you can wear it and have it be slimmer just across your body overall. It doesn't have that, you know, just it's tailored nicely. I never put that back together. Whereas this, when it, this is on your side, it's like a little suitcase. It's like a mini duffel bag. It's really cute. I love the coloring of, of it. It's classic, it's iconic, it's beautiful. Um, however, the, the Speedy and then just the bandolier, the Speedy bandolier, it's just the 30, and I think even the 25 would probably be this thick across. It's just a much bulkier bag. This tapering through here, yes, you lose some storage capacity, but I'm, I'm not taking a ton of stuff with me all around town. I have, you know, wallet, makeup, sunglasses, some baby accessories, and it all fits in here, so I think it's great. And then I can go ahead and take off, take off the crossbody strap, and then I just have this adorable little bag. It's tailored really nicely. It has just these beautiful little pieces for detail. Um, I can take this to dinner and not feel like I have just this massive bag somewhere, you know, taking up space. That's how I felt. I had the Neverfull MM and I sold that. I felt like it was obnoxious. It was just like this big tote bag. Um, it might've been okay for travel, which I traveled with it, but for practicality when I would wear it, the um, on the Neverfull, the corners just kind of like flopped around and I found them to be really annoying personally. Um, so this is the Terrine PM. It's adorable. It fits all of my goodies in there. Again, cosmetic pouch fits in there. Wallet, I mean a bigger wallet would fit in there too. I could have brought one of those out to to display white pouch, baby wipes, diaper, sunglasses, car keys, cell phone's recording, so I can't throw that in there, but it would also fit. It does have some weight to it still. Again, the bottom's not sagging, it's maintaining its shape. And as you can see, there's still room for some more things if you needed to. Um, somebody had mentioned, I think in one of their reviews, putting in an iPad. I could see that. So, um, it's just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous little bag. I really think it's a fleeting, and it's just some really dainty detail to give it more character. It's not just um, like a big square tote. Those bags, I don't know, I just, I like when that bag itself actually has some style to it. It has some character, it has something charming about it. It's not, like I said, just kind of a boring square. So that's what really drew me to this was um, the style of it being thinner and tapered. Um, as opposed to being thick and wide and bulky like the Speedy. Um, you can really see the difference there. So for anyone who may, might want some information about the bandolier, something that I do love about it 
So it can be a crossbody. Again, it's a little more on the bulky side if you do it crossbody. Um, but the bandolier strap is amazing because you can take this piece off. And it just becomes a shoulder bag, which this is pretty much what I loved about it. Because for me, I know everyone has the speedy, but I'm not trying to shop with a bag hanging off my arm. I'm like trying to look through the rocks and I, I think that's absolutely obnoxious. So having a bag that becomes a shoulder bag when I need to be hands-free is ideal. comfortable to to shop with and then your hands free you can do what you need to do you're not just like I, <clears throat> okay I don't understand that whole like I, I don't know I think it's obnoxious to not have a, a strap to be hands free so that's it so this is the speedy bandolier that um, is the 30 it is much bigger than the terrain you can fit a lot more in it but it's bulkier the terrain is more compact um, it's dainty, but it has the boning in the bottom so that the bottom doesn't sag, which I really like about it. It maintains its shape, and um, gosh, it just, it's just so soft. I wonder if this one used to feel that way. Now it's just older. It's a few years old now. Um, I don't know, but the train cam, I did try on the GM when I was in the store. <clears throat> I don't know, I tried on the neck size up and to me that bag just felt too big because like I said, I like that feeling of the bag fitting my body snug and kind of being one with me, to be zen, no, um, just not being like super bulky and all over the place. This is really nice and feels a little bulky if I just do it on this side like that. So I wouldn't wear it just like that. I would always wear it behind me like in the in the small of my back because I think that that's what makes it the most seamless so it's not all over the place. If anyone has any questions, if I can answer any questions for you, I'm happy to do that. I don't know what you want to know, so this is all I'm telling you is what I like about it, um, what I think is interesting, um, and that's definitely the pleating and the boning that's in the bottom of the bag for the extra support, as well as just the overall style and how cute it is. So I hope that that was helpful. Thanks for watching.